So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is data block cluster quick start. So a lot of you guys are facing issues on this lab so here is the updated solution guide for it and in this video you will get full score without any issue. So if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's start the lab and let's complete it together. Now, once the lab is started, we will be opening the cloud console in incognito window. So wait for it. So now open the cloud console in incognito window. And if it asks for entering details like username and password, check the lab for it. Now let's move ahead. So here basically what we need to do is that first we have to create a cluster and then First, we have to enable some permissions in APIs, then we have to create the cluster, then submit the data job, and after that, we have to just update the cluster. So wait for it, now click on I understand. So we will confirm whether one API is enabled or not. So for that, what you need to do, first wait for this pop-up to complete, that we have to click on I agree, and then click on I agree and continue. Now from here, you have to just go to the api and services click on library and wait for it to open here we have to just check whether data proc api is enabled or not by default it's always enabled but sometimes due to some glitches they fail to enable or due to resource constraints so what you have to do let me show you you have to scroll down and as you can see here is the data proc api copy it carefully copy it completely and just paste over here so when you will paste over here what you need to do just hit enter and you will be able to see this API you have to click on it just click on it and if you see any option like enable you have to click on it in my case it's already enabled as you can see API is enabled if it doesn't so like this and it asks for enable you can enable it now we have to add permission so for that you have to click on i am an admin and click on i am so basically we have to update the storage admin permission to our compute engine compute developer user id so this thing you need to understand so here as you can see here it's compute at the rate of the developer you have to click on this pencil icon and wait for the role to load now from here copy the storage admin role so just copy from here to here only now click on add another role it will take some time now click on it now in the search box basically the filter box type it and wait for it to load select the first one that is storage admin and now click on save now it will update the role now we have to create a data proc cluster so how we will create the data proc cluster as you can see here you have to search data proc and then cluster and a lot of you guys are facing issues like you are unable to select the E2 machine type. So don't worry, here is the updated way how you can select it. Just follow the way I am doing in the video and you will be able to complete it. Now once you are here, you have to just click on this cluster. Just click on this cluster over here and wait for the page to load. Now from here, you have to click on create cluster. Once you have clicked on create cluster, you don't have to do anything. Just click on create cluster and a new page will open. So again, if you face any issue like you are unable to edit, just refresh the browser and again click on the create. So actually I face this issue. That's why I'm sharing here. So now here, just click on setup cluster and just go to the lab instruction, copy the name, it's example cluster, just paste over here, make sure there is no any extra space, replace the space here, click backspace. Now for region, it's my case, it's zero quest one and zone is C. So you always check from the lab instruction, the region and zone. Now we have to update it to the cluster type will be standard and from here, now we have to configure the nodes. So here you have to update to standard persistent disk. So once you have updated it, you will be able to see the E2 machine type. And here E2 machine type standard has been selected. Now the disk size is 30 GB. We have to update it. And similarly for the worker nodes also, we have to update it. Like primary disk updated. Now again, select the E2. If you are unable to see this, it 
just select from the drop down the machine type present on the lab instruction it will be updated you always check from the lab instruction now again update the disk size to 30 gb now after that what you need to do is you have to deselect this let me show you configure ip configure all instances to internal ip you have to just deselect if it's selected like this just click over here and it will be deselected now you have to just create the cluster so it will take some time just click on create cluster and wait for four to five minutes and the cluster will be ready soon so let's wait so the cluster will start its work you can ignore the error showing above it's provisioning then it will run and once after that it will either so succeeded or completed or done so just wait for it so if you will try to hit check my progress probably you won't get the score because the cluster is still provisioning and has not completed so you need to just wait only till the cluster gets completed so let's wait you can also open this cluster if you want to view a detailed manner like if you want to view in detail basically so you can click on it and it will just open you can also refresh the browser also or just wait and watch you have multiple choices So finally it's now running and once it's done we'll be getting score so in running only we got the score so no need to worry now we have to just submit job you can click directly submit job or it will be better if we go step by step so once the cluster is now ready as you can see it's running just go to the job and click on submit job so basically here we have to create a spark job so for the job name you don't have to just modify the name if you want you can do it but no need for it just select the region in my case is zero west one and always check the region from the lab instruction now for the cluster just select from the drop down and update the job type to spark let's copy the jar file name so just copy the spark and just the main class or jar name just paste over here and now here for the again jar file just enter here and follow arguments just type 100 i mean 1000 1000 type and just click on submit now it will take some more time and after that basically it will take one to two minutes mostly and then we have to just update the cluster that is we have to update the worker nodes from two to four and after that we'll be done with the lab guys and if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video now, as you can see it's running now so if you want let's try to see whether we get score or not or better wait for some more time and then we'll check again so let's see meanwhile if you want to discover other skill badges labs and arcade games you can check the description of this video i have shared the complete skill badges list that is more than 55 plus skill badges are already live you can complete it at your convenience. So now let's see, check my progress and see whether we get score or not. So it's taking time, so wait for it. 
once it shows green tick will be done with the task basically yes it's showing succeeded so let's hit check my progress and you will definitely get the score if you follow the way i have done and if you haven't followed just repeat the task now we have to update the worker nodes from 2 to 4 so now go to cluster select the example cluster now from here what you need to do you have to click on vm instance no no you have to click on configuration sorry you have to click on configuration click on edit and you have to update the worker nodes from 2 to 4 you must have remembered we have selected 2 now on the top you have to just update to 4 and just click on save and it's basically updating the cluster and once it's done we will be done with the lab it will take one to two minutes so just wait for it and once the cluster is updated we will hit check my progress meanwhile if you have participated in the arcade or arcade facilitator program and if you don't know what are the programs you can let me know in the comments basically these programs are organized by google to enhance your learning and get exciting google cloud goodies if you haven't seen the goodies you can check the playlist for that too so wait for some time more So finally the status has been updated to running now we will definitely get the score and we are done with the lab guys if you like the way i have solved this lab do like the video and subscribe to the channel remember you are here to learn and you learn first so now this has been done now we will be hitting check my progress so let's move to the lab instruction and complete the task so just hit the check my progress So it may take time depending on the, your internet connection or sometimes it will be the lab server. That is basically the quick lab server. So wait for some more time. So finally we got the score and we are done with the lab guys. Thank you guys. Have a great day.